Transaction confirmation time is a big problem in Bitcoin that the wider community doesn't understand. Natively in Bitcoin, there are two ways to get your transaction confirmed faster. The first one is called replace by fee, and in certain applications, it could be called fee bump. Replace by fee allows a user who has already sent a transaction to send a new transaction at a higher fee rate. For example, maybe you sent a Bitcoin transaction with a fee of five sats per byte, but the next block in the mempool is taking fees of eight sats per byte. And the mempool shows you that five sats per byte will take weeks to confirm. In this example, you could replace your five sats per byte transaction with an eight sats per byte transaction, and then your transaction will get confirmed in the next block, which is usually around 10 minutes. To use this, your transaction must be flagged with RBF enabled, which even today in 2024, not all wallets support. And I recommend that if you are using especially a self-custody wallet that doesn't support RBF, that you switch to either Blue Wallet, Ledger Live, Trezor Suite, or Sparrow Wallet, because all four of those wallets support replace by fee, and it can be a really really important feature when you're not getting your transaction confirmed on time. To see if your transaction is RBF enabled, you can simply open the transaction within mempool. I'll throw up a graphic somewhere here on the screen. Here's what it'll look like if RBF is not enabled. And then here's what it will look like if RBF is enabled. Enabling RBF is your first line of defense to making sure that you can get your Bitcoin transaction confirmed. But if you don't have RBF enabled, there are a couple of other options for you. The second option built into Bitcoin is called child pays for parent. Child pays for parent allows a user to create a new transaction called a child transaction that depends on the first transaction they sent that they're trying to speed up called the parent transaction. Assigning a higher fee to the child transaction allows the parent transaction to confirm and then the child transaction to confirm. So for example, you sent the same five sats per byte transaction, but you need the fee to be eight sats per byte. You would simply create a second transaction from the wallet that is trying to receive the first transaction, pay the eight sats per byte fee on that new transaction from the receiving wallet, and then your eight sats per byte transaction will confirm the five sats per byte transaction and the money will clear all the way through to that third address. So there was the first sending address, the second address that was supposed to receive the Bitcoin, and then the third address that actually received the Bitcoin. You can see why that situation might not be super optimal and it's even really confusing to just talk about. If you're trying to pay a vendor, the vendor obviously doesn't wanna to have to pay your transaction fees to accept the Bitcoin that you were supposed to send to them. And so child pays for parent and replace by fee solve two totally separate use cases, neither of which might apply to you, especially if you already sent a transaction that doesn't support replace by fee. And if you still are confused about when you should use child pays for parent versus replace by fee, I did a video tutorial that I'll link up in the cards and down in the description that will give you a lot more in-depth of an understanding and a much more visual understanding of child pays for parent to see if either of these options apply to you. Unfortunately, for a lot of people who really need their Bitcoin to clear soon, neither of these options are satisfying their use case. And so now finally, we have a third option that is a lot more expensive, but also much simpler. And the best part is it'll work for anyone. Mempool.space recently rolled out a new feature called the Mempool Accelerator. This allows you to pay Mempool pool.space directly to get your transaction confirmed faster. It's like RBF, but you don't have to enable anything. This will always work. But why does it work? And why has it taken so long for a feature like this to be implemented in Bitcoin? Mempool Accelerator works by sending an out-of-band transaction to mining pool partners. This is not a change to your transaction that you sent on the Bitcoin network. In our example earlier, your five sats per byte transaction will still be stuck at five sats per byte. Instead, this is an out-of-band transaction, which is effectively a bribe to the miners to pick up your transaction early, even though the fee is low. See, based on your original fee, it doesn't make economic sense for the miners to pick up your transaction. Once miners win the contest to mine, the next block, they get to decide what transactions to put in that block. And based on the fee that you've attached to your transactions, those miners have an economic incentive of whether or not to put your transaction in the next block. So if a bunch of people on the network are sending their transactions through at eight sats per byte and yours is stuck at five, yours isn't going to get included. So if you knew the people who had already won the contest to put together the next Bitcoin block, you could go up to them and say, hey man, I'll give you a thousand dollars to include my transaction in the next block even though on the Bitcoin network, it doesn't make sense financially for you to include my five sats per byte transaction. In fancy Bitcoin terms, we call this an out of band payment because it's not a payment that showed up natively on the Bitcoin network. And over on Ethereum, they call it MEV, which is minor extractable value or sometimes maximal extractable value. What's great about this out of band payment that mempool.space is allowing you to make is even though it's going to be more expensive than just running RBF for yourself, you can get absolutely any 
transaction confirmed for a price. So next, let's go ahead and jump over to mempool.space and see how this works in action. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send a transaction that has a fee that is way too low to get included in the next block. Unfortunately, it looks like the next block is confirming transactions at three sats per byte. So I'm going to put in one that's at two sats per byte and hopefully it takes a little while to send. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send here on my iPhone and just send $5 of Bitcoin over to my desktop blue wallet. And then I'm gonna click on details up here and I'm gonna to try to send this for an even smaller amount. So if we click these three dots at the top of the transaction, we'll see that by default, I'm allowing fee bump, which is a good reason to use a wallet like Blue Wallet, which is free on your desktop and your mobile device. But let's pretend that we were sending a transaction that did not allow fee bump or replace by fee. And instead we'll click on this fee here. We'll set it to custom and we'll do two sats per byte, which hopefully should take a while to confirm, but we'll see. So let's just go ahead and send this transaction now. So it's saying that it's confirmed on our iPhones. And next, let's go ahead and look at our desktop wallet here. So if I go on my mobile wallet here, we'll see that the transaction was sent and it has zero confirmations and the ETA is one day. It's giving me the option here to bump the fee because I did have fee bump enabled. But again, we're going to pretend that I didn't have fee bump enabled. So let's go ahead and look at details and then copy this transaction ID and we'll paste it over here in mempool. So we've got our transaction. The ETA is not anytime soon. RBF is is enabled, but we also have access here to Mempool Accelerator, the new Mempool feature that's rolling out in beta right now. So all I have to do here is click on Accelerate, and then it's quoting me a cost of $30 to pay with either Cash App, Google Pay, or a Lightning invoice to get my transaction confirmed in the next about 23 minutes or about two blocks. And again, Mempool.space is able to do this because they've created relationships behind the scenes with these miners here, about 40% of the miners on the network. So it looks like Foundry, Mara Pool, Spider Pool, SBI Crypto, and Brains Pool. And then this other 60% of the hash rate on the network is not participating in their acceleration program. So if I wanna do this, I can just swipe up on my phone and go ahead and open Strike. I can click here on Send Bitcoin and I'll send to a Bitcoin wallet and then I'll just scan this Lightning invoice. It's quoting me 52,001 sats, probably the one sats is the Lightning invoice fee. So the routing fee here plus one sat. I'll go ahead and confirm this and then bada bing, we've accelerated our transaction. So now our transaction has been accepted for acceleration by the mining pool partners. And again, that payment was instant because I used the Lightning Network. And so now we'll see that my ETA is in only 23 minutes. And they're able to get me this quote because they're showing me that 41% of the hash rate is actively involved in trying to out of band my payment through the network faster. If more of the hash rate gets online with the program, this ETA is going to be faster. And if some hash rate starts to drop out of their program, this ETA would obviously be slower. And then if we just start to go through some of these blocks and look at what it would cost to accelerate some of these other transactions, the fee is not always going to be that low. My fee of $30, it seems really high just to send my $5 economically that didn't make any sense at all. And I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. But in other situations where like this guy right here is trying to send half a Bitcoin, his half a Bitcoin consolidation transaction is basically never going to get confirmed. He could RBF this and just push it through. But there are some examples of people who have not enabled RBF and are trying to send lots and lots of Bitcoin via a transaction that just might not ever confirm. So this guy right now is trying to send about half a Bitcoin and the price today is 59,000, rest in peace. So he's trying to send about $25,000 and consolidate that for a fee of $129. And this fee is already pretty high because he's doing a consolidation transaction where he's consolidating 660 UTXOs. And if you have no idea what consolidating UTXOs mean, it's a really important concept and it's why this guy is paying so much in fees. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'll have links up in the cards and down in the description. But you can see where like, if this guy wants to get his $25,000 confirmed anytime soon, he might be willing to pay $677 to get that confirmed in the next 23 minutes. Obviously my example of trying to push through a $5 transaction for an extra $30 of acceleration, super stupid. Don't do what I'm doing. This is just a tutorial to show you proof of concept. But for someone like this, that's trying to send a massive transaction, the acceleration cost starts to make a lot more sense, especially if they don't have replace by fee enabled. And again, there are a lot of wallets out there right now that just don't allow you to use replace by fee, especially some of these exchange wallets that you have no control over whatsoever. And what's cool about Mempool Accelerator is I'm not only able to accelerate my transactions, I could also go in here and accelerate this guy's transaction. It seems like the payment options are a little inconsistent. And if you want to learn more about the mempool accelerator and exactly how it works, I'll have links to it down in the description, but I could pay this guy's transaction and it can get confirmed in the same way that you could pay actually like an exchanges distribution transaction 
on your behalf, you could accelerate that to get your money faster, which is pretty crazy. And so while a lot of people might be like, oh, this is MEV on Bitcoin, this is really bad. It's not good that you can pay miners to accelerate transactions. I think it actually is really good from a user experience perspective of just everyday people using the network to be able to pay slightly higher costs to absolutely guarantee that their transaction does get confirmed in some reasonable amount of time. Because you can imagine, especially people who are sending very money dense transactions, really high transactions like $50,000 or $100,000, this extra fee of a couple hundred bucks to get their transaction confirmed right away is not really gonna matter to them. They're more likely to just want their money to be settled back in their hands than to have to worry about, oh, I have this giant transaction out there and I feel uncomfortable with the fact that my transaction hasn't been confirmed yet. So if we head back to my transaction, it's only been a couple of minutes here. So I'm probably gonna cut until this transaction shows back up. And then I'll show you a little something here on the screen that shows you that the transaction was eventually confirmed much faster than it would have been otherwise. Again, if you guys wanna learn more about the accelerator and exactly how it works, I'll have links to it down in the description. You guys think this is interesting? Do you want me to do a video on the concept of MEV on Bitcoin and what this kind of out of band payment situation means for the future of the network? I do still respond to all the comments, so let me know down below. And then while you're at it, go down in the description and join the Discord or follow me on X for more updates. That's it for today, guys. I love you all. See you next week. Bye.